हेलो ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू चक्र एकेडमी कैसे आप सब लोग आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग दिस सीरीज ऑफ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम वेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम वेयर वी कैलकुलेट द टू डिजिट नंबर्स वेयर इफ द डिजिट्स आर रिवर्सड एडेड और सबट्रैक्टेड यू गेट अ न्यू नंबर दोस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द टॉपिक स्पीड एंड टाइम and in today's session i have taken the word problems where percentage ka concept is used maybe profit loss or a particular quantity is increased and decreased how it is affecting the percentage or those mixture question right two particular type of components are mixed to form a new mixture so in these all type of word problems percentage ka fundamentals will be used if you have not seen the previous two lectures where we have discussed a lot of word problem depending on speed time and finding the two digit number you can go to the grade 10 maths playlist and see those lectures so let's start today's session okay students as you can see the first question on the screen the first question says a dealer sells an article for rupees 75 gains as much percent as the cost price of the article so whatever is the cost price of the article that much is the profit percentage also if we assume the cost price of the article to be rupees x the profit percentage is x so you need to find what is the cost price of the article so here we will use the fundamentals of cp sp cost price selling price as well as the percentage so let's start discussing this so let us assume that let the cost price of the article is x rupees okay what is the formula for the gain percentage or profit percent c profit or loss always happens with respect to cost price theek okay? hai so what is the formula for gain percentage or profit percentage you can say that it will be equal to gain by cp into 100 so what is the gain percentage it is exactly same as the cost price of the particle so this will be x what is profit if it is profit it means your selling price should be more than cost price so it should be sp minus cp so you will say sp minus cp divided by cp into 100 ठीक so dealer sells the article for 75 rupees so 75 rupees is the sp so x will be equal to 75 minus x by x into 100 let's cross multiply students so this will be x square equal to 7500 minus 100x if you rearrange the terms we have a quadratic equation what is the quadratic equation x square plus 100x minus 7500 equals to 0 so this is our quadratic equation what about this ko solve kar lo let's solve this quadratic by using middle term splitting yeah. so what we can say that it will be x square plus 150x correct minus 50x minus 7500 equals to 0 correct so let's take x common so we can take x common so x plus 150 minus 50 x plus 150 equals to 0 so what will be our factors factors will be x minus 50 into x plus 150 equals to 0 so x will be equal to 50 rupees or minus 150 so obviously cost price cannot be negative so what should be our answer x equal to 50 this will be the answer minus 150 will be rejected okay so these kind of questions similar type of question they can ask you for loss so what will be the formula for loss if suppose it was loss loss will be loss percentage will be loss by cp if it is loss it means cost price should be more than selling price so if it is loss instead of sp minus cp it should be cp minus sp that will be the only change okay so let's take the next question now students read the next that is the second problem a chemist has one solution which is 50% acid and second acid solution which is 25% how much of each should be mixed to form a new solution which is basically of 10 liters of 40% concentration right 
so two type of solutions are mixed to form a new solution so we need to find out what is the amount of each acid solution mixed so let us assume that so we can say that let the 40 percent acid solution b x liters and 25 percent acid solution is y liters correct this is the assumption so what is the total volume 10 so x plus y should be 10 first equation this is your first equation x plus y equal to 10 now, second equation you can write down by their concentration, percentage concentration. So, 40% acid solution. So, 40% of x liters. 40% of x liters plus, not 40%, I think I wrote wrong, right? 50%. The students I wrote wrong, just correct it. I didn't see that. That was 50. By mistake, I copied 40. 50%. Let the 50% acid solution and the second is 25%. So, 50% of X plus 25% of Y is equal to what? 40% acid solution, right? What is the total volume? 10 liters. So, it will be 40% of 10 liters. So, the combination of this will give this final outcome which is written in the last line. So, 50 by 100 of x plus 25 by 100 of y will be equal to 40 by 100 of 10. Correct? So, what can we cancel? You can see that I can take 1 by 100 common. So, 1 by 100, 1 by 100, 1 by 100 gone. So, this is 50x plus 25y equals to 400. Now, what can we take common from both the sides? We can take 25 common. Let's take 25 common. So, this become 2x plus y equals to 25. Ones are 25. 150. So, 150 is what? 25 into 6. So, 2x plus y equal to 16. That is the second equation. So, students note down both the equations quickly. Okay. Let's solve both of them. So, we can subtract second minus first so if you subtract y y gets cancelled so x will be equal to 16 minus 10 6 so x is 6 liters y will be how much x plus y is 10 so y will be 4 liters so this is our answer okay i hope that funda is clear there should not be any doubt in this i think the only thing what you need to learn is that how to write this equation this is the most important thing. After that, it becomes a basically very moderate level of question. So let's take one more question of percentage. Okay, students, let's take the last question. So the question says when six boys were admitted and six girls left, the percentage of the boy increased from 60 to 75. So six boys, suppose, took admission in a particular class and six girls basically left. So, obviously, the percentage of boys will increase. It is increasing from 60 to 75 percent. Find the original number of boys and girls in the class. So, let us assume that. Let the number of boys be X and girls be Y. So, initially what is the percentage? 60. 60% 60 are boys. So, how do you write percent? Available quantity or you can say original divided by total. So, how will I write boys ka percentage? Number of boys divided by total number of students. So, number of boys are how many? X divided by total number of students, X plus Y. So, this will give you the percentage of boys. Number of boys divided by total number of students into 100. So, that is basically 60. Right. So, let's simplify this. So, we can cancel 0 and 0. 2 5 is a 10. 2 3 is a 6. So, this will be 5x equal to cross multiply 3x plus 3y. 
So we have 5x minus 3x, 2x equal to 3y. This is our first equation. Now they are telling that when 6 boys join and 6 girl leaves, the percentage of boys is 75%. So 6 boys joined. So what is the new number of boys? So the boys will be x plus 6. And what will be the total number of students? See, 6 boys joined, 6 girls left. So boys will be x plus 6. Girls will be y minus 6. So 6 and minus 6 gets cancelled. So total number of boys will be how many? x plus y. Listen to me carefully. So what is happening? If you see that 6 boys joined. So number of boys is x plus 6 and 6 girls left. So number of girls are how many? y minus 6. So what will be total number of students? x plus 6 plus y minus 6. 6 and minus 6 cancel. So total number of students will be how many? x plus y again. So what is the percentage? 75. So this is the number of boys and total number of students remains same into 175. So 25 threes are 75, 25 fours are. So let's solve it. So it will be 4x plus 24 equal to 3x plus 3y. So 4x minus 3x will be basically how much? x plus 24 equal to 3y. Right? This is my second equation. So now if you see that 3y is 2x, substitute there. So x plus 24 equal to 2x. So 24 equal to x. So number of boys are how many? 24. Now how will you find y? So we have 3y equal to 2x. So 3y is equal to 2 into 24 students. So 3 is a 24. So y is how much? 16. So number of boys are 24. Number of girls are 16. So these are a few questions from which you can clearly uh, get adjusted to the questions where percentage ka concepts are used. Okay. So make sure that you guys solve all these questions again from your end also. And let me know in the comment box what type of word problems you want me to discuss in the next video. So share it with your friends also. Do like and comment how you found the video. Sakura Academy is with you. See you guys in the next lecture.